point operators are functions that map a single value at a pixel location to a new pixel value. In the course, we will see various point operators, including invert, gamma correction, contrast stretching, thresholding, and histogram equalization. We shall regard the input image as a function f that is defined for each pixel location xy. fr xy produces a single red value at that pixel location. fg produces green and fb blue. There is a similar function g defined for the output image after the mapping has taken place. We define the mapping phi that maps the input value to the output value. Therefore, the new image g equals phi of f, and each new pixel g of xy is equal to phi of f xy. For invert, each new pixel color value is 255 minus the original value. This operation can be applied to each color channel to get a new inverted color image. The graph shows the mapping for invert. Original values f of xy are mapped to the new values phi of f xy. Each of the point operators has a mapping function that can be implemented in code and visualized using a graph. Thresholding is a conditional point operator. If the original value is less than the threshold, the new value is set to zero. Otherwise, the new value is 255. Here, before thresholding, we should change the image to grayscale, then apply the invert point operator on that gray value to get a black or white value. For grayscale, we loop over each pixel and retrieve its red, green, and blue values. We sum the values and divide by three to get the grayscale image. This weights each of the individual channels equally. If you search online, you will find suggestions for different weightings for the channels. Gamma correction is a nonlinear mapping from original value to new value. It uses a power function by raising the original normalized value by one over the gamma value. Note the division by 255 to normalize the value between zero and one before raising it to the power. Also note the multiplication of that value by 255 to give the pixel color. For values of gamma greater than 1, for example 2.8, you get a brighter image. For values between 0 and 1, you get a darker image. The equation can be applied to each color value to get a new color image. Contrast stretching is a piecewise linear transformation function. It combines several line segments which are linear mappings. It aims to increase the apparent dynamic range of an image by increasing contrast in some intervals of the domain where it will be more noticeable and decreasing the contrast in others where it is less noticeable. In this case, we are using three line segments and require two controlling points, x1, y1 and x2, y2 that will be captured from the user.